Again, we have a challenge on the board. And I'll be solving this challenge with Dr. P.K. Dr. P.K. is uh, one of the persons I trust so much when it comes to uh, solving mathematics, most especially rhetorical mathematics. So I'll be collaborating with Dr. P.K. Okay, on this question. Okay, we'll be solving this question or this math challenge using different approaches, but we'll arrive at the same answer like i said you can uh, visit dr pk shannon okay um when you visit his channel you'll be glad you did because he has so many solutions to uh, some of the tough imo mathematical uh, challenges all right the question look for how tough and look for how crazy but we're going to solve this question with the help of some of the uh, laws we've already known in the area of mathematics okay the question says x to the power of 2 plus x equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 then what would be the possible value of x to this question now if you look at this question carefully you discover that the highest power of the variable x here is 2 in the other word we have to look for two values that will satisfy this quadratic equation okay but before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel this is Online Math TV, and my name is Jix Anemo. As you all know, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. Because at Online Math TV, we drop wonderful video all the time for your learning, for your fun. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Yeah, we put down our question by taking selection first. Selection, the question, again, we have x to the power of 2 plus x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just imagine the figures here. That's why I said the question looks so crazy, but we're going to solve it. Okay. Now, if you look at this, if I decide to move the whole of this to the left-hand side of the equation, then this will become a constant and this will become our a this will become the coefficient here will become our a and the coefficient here will become our b meanwhile here we have c but can we use the uh, quadratic formula to solve this to simplify this or can we actually um find the factors of this figure to get the actual uh, answer from here that would be so how difficult but we're going to do some manipulation here okay all right, so we we'll look at this carefully. What do we do to um, uh, handle this part of this equation? This is what we're going to do here. The trick here is to separate this 111 and this 2222 from each other. So if we are to do this, then let's keep this left hand side of the equation. So we continue on this side. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? If I decide to replace the whole of this with 80 and add this to it, it has not changed anything. So this now becomes here yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then plus my 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Look at what I've done now. If we add this to this, this will give us this back. So, this has not really changed the game. We only try to do some simple manipulation here. So, what comes to mind again? Here we're having this. We want to separate this from this zero aspect. So, I can rewrite this aspect again as our 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there, times your 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Plus my two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We are bringing out something special here now. Wow. Okay. Here we are having one, one, one year. We want to bring out one, one, one this way also. So, how do we bring out one, one to this side of this uh, expression here? So, we want to um, take this at two times one into. Eight places. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times your one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight digits. The plus, here we have two times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you look at this carefully, you discover that if we multiply this, use two to multiply this, it will give us this back. If we use this to multiply this, like I explained earlier on, we're going to have this back. So, look at what we have here now. A game is playing out here. A very fine and unique game is playing out here now. We have one one into eight places. We have one one into eight places. So, can we bring out one one into eight places here? So that we can do some crazy substitution. <laughs> let's begin to think. Yes, we can. So, let's put this in bracket. Let's put this in bracket. So, how do we now write this now? We can write this as your 9999999 plus 1. <laughs> okay? If you do that here, then let's go ahead. This one will give us here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times bracket your 9, 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus one close bracket plus your two times one two three four five six seven seven sorry i must write here eight <laughs> eight okay now let's look at this here wow when we had this expression here we brought out one 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 into eight please yeah so we are having a similar expression here too. So what we do here, we can equally bring out one one from year two by saying nine times one 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 into eight places. You see the game? Like I told you, the thing is playing out here now. Okay, very easy. So let's go ahead. So we now have this to be one two three four five six seven eight. There times bracket your nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, close bracket, plus your two times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. So we're not having one, 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 eight, two, eight in all the places we have here now. So at this point, what do we do? Let's do a very crazy substitution. Yeah, we want to bring in um, another alphabet or something to represent all oh, this one, 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 we have here, our binary numbers. So from here, we can say, let, from here, mind you, we have the whole of this down to this place here. So we have here x squared plus your x equal to this. So let's do the substitution. We can say here, let, uh, let's take y, let y be equal to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So whenever we see your one, 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 two, eight places, then what do we do? We replace that with our wire. So let's continue on this side of the board. Okay. Before coming to this side of the board, we still have some space here. So we can do our substitution here. So this now implies that our x squared plus your x is equal to, here we have one, one, one. So we have here y into, here we have nine times y which is 9y okay 9y plus our one close bracket the plus 2y <laughs> the whole of this lengthy expression has been reduced to this with the help of a crazy substitution opening up this this will now give us here our x to the power of 2 plus your x equal to here we have your 9 y squared then plus your y plus your 2y again this will now give us x squared plus x equal to your 9 y squared this is 9 please then plus our 3y easy move the whole of this down to this side of the expression to your left hand side so this will now give us your x squared plus your x minus your 9y squared minus 3y equal to 0. Easy. Okay. So again, what we do next here? If you look at this, 
We are having x to the power of 2 here. Here we are having um, 9. And 9 can be expressed as a 3 to the power of 2. Okay? Why are we thinking of this? We're trying to bring out a special algebraic identity, which is the difference of 2 square. Remember that? Okay. So let's express this differently and also bring this to meet with x. So we have here x squared minus your 3 the y all to the power of 2 the plus your x minus 3y everything equal to 0. Easy. Now remember the uh, algebraic identity which is your difference of 2 squared which says that if you have your a okay square minus b squared this is equal to your a plus b close bracket bracket a minus b close bracket so we've made use of this identity in most of our, our videos okay so if we succumb to this what we have here now is similar to this here our x is our a here 3y is our b here so let's rewrite the whole of this in this format clear okay so this will now becomes your x plus your 3y close bracket bracket your x sorry not 3 please your x minus 3y close bracket plus here we have your x minus 3y equal to 0. Good. Good. Okay, the game is playing out now. We discover we have x minus 3y and x minus 3y on this other side. So what do we do? We can factor out x minus 3y, right? So if we do that, we're going to have here your x minus 3y close bracket there or into our square bracket bracket if we use this to divide this expression here, we'll be left with this. So we now have here x plus your 3y close bracket plus. If we use this again to divide this, then we are left with your 1. <laughs> Easy. Then let's close our square bracket. This is equal to 0. We can open what we have inside this bracket here. So if we do that, we're going to have here your x minus 3y close bracket bracket your x there plus your 3y plus 1 close bracket equal to 0. Good, good, good. Now you discover we can apply what we call the product rule which is the zero product rule. Remember that? Okay, the zero product rule says that if you have your a dot b this is equal to 0. There it does implies that uh, you have your a is equal to zero or your b equal to zero. This is what we call the zero product rule. Okay? I've also applied uh, this rule in uh, so many of my videos too. So if we succumb to the zero product rule, it tells me that this will be equal to zero, this will be equal to zero. So let's go ahead. This now implies that your first term which is x minus 3y is equal to 0 or we now have your x um, plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. Now if you look at this we can send this to this side of the equation okay so let's rule this out so we now have your x is equal to your 3y but if you recall, when we made our crazy substitution, we said let y be equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 8 places. Remember? Good. So we cannot put in the value of y here. So this now implies that your x is equal to your 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Close bracket. So if we multiply out, then we're going to have our x, therefore, is equal to 3 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is our x1. This is the value of our x1. Easy. Now, according to the equation, we know this is a quadratic equation. So we have to solve for two values, two different values of x. So how do we get the second values of x? We're going to handle this now. And so this, we send 
to this other side of the equation. So this will now give us our x is equal to, if we carry everything to this other side, we're going to have this to be a minus bracket 3y plus 1, close bracket. Again, we we'll solve, sorry, we we'll know the value of our y already. It's just a matter of substituting into this. So this will now give us our x2 is equal to minus bracket your 3 into, uh, let's use a square bracket here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, the close bracket plus our 1. Close our square bracket. So this will now give us here minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 1. Okay, all right. Now, mind you, if we use this minus to open up this minus, this plus rather, then this will now give us here um, minus. So we have minus one rather. So if we subtract this from this, this will now give us here, this might give us therefore. So we have therefore our x2 is equal to minus 3, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 4. Okay. So this is the value for our x2. All right. So we have our x1 to be 333 to 8 places and our x2 to be 3 minus 333333334. All right. So this marks the end of this useful challenge okay this uh, quadratic equation from a uh, imo okay from math uh olympia which is your international math olympia the question all right thanks for always be there and also in the process of solving if you discover there's an error uh, made an error or a mistake in one of the steps drop it in the comment section but if there is no and you love what is going on here give the video a thumbs up i know you're good at giving my videos a thumbs up and I love you for that. Remember, this is all I must TV. I'm in remix jigs anymore. In case you thought I forgot my name. Thank you once again. And again, I also want to remind you that you can probably visit Dr. PK, who use a different approach in solving this. But we arrive at the same answer. Okay? He's good at what he does. And also to Mr. Matnad that actually requested for more collaboration with Dr. PK. <laughs> Here we have one. I will still have more to come. Okay. Remember, I'm your friend. I love you for being there all the time. Never, don't forget to subscribe. And whenever you subscribe, hit the bell notification button. And when you hit it, then you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you just watched here. Because at online mass TV, we drop one type of video all the time. Bye for now.